let's continue by placing some objects on the map. Now, what I mean with objects, I mean moving objects like uh, trucks, trains, boats, and of course aircraft. Uh, first something I, I'd like to do, it's not necessary but it may help you organize things. If you go to the left hand uh, corner here, you can see a list of all the objects that are now in the game. All these scenery elements. Now they can be quite a lot and it's difficult to uh, yeah, to find any of them. So what I do, I, I make groups of these objects. So let's go and select all the stuff here, which is basically all scenery. You can do it by either selecting them with the rectangle, left click and hold. Left click somewhere, it will deselect. Or you can use the shortcut, control A, basically window stuff. Now right click with your mouse and say group objects. All these objects have now been grouped into one group, and you can see here only one element. Let's give it a name. Scenery. And you'll also see that in the in the uh, previous screen here things are not as cluttered anymore as they were before. They are still there but just the icons have disappeared because they've now gone into this group. If you want to edit any of these objects you go select the, uh, the group, right click and say set group as working and you'll see all the icons again and you can pick them up and edit them. Okay, go to the top top level, right click, set group as working and you're back on the top level. Okay, now let's make some uh, some objects. Here's an airfield, and it's a bit empty, so let's place some uh, some vehicles and aircraft here. Let's go to the right. Here are all the objects. We've got planes, vehicles, trains, ships, artillery, balloons. Let's start with some vehicles. Um, let's say this is an Allied base, and we're going to use the Leyland truck. Here's a preview screen click once here and click again on the screen here and it will be placed. If you zoom in you can actually see it on the map. Let's place it now here. In order to show it up to show it up in the game you have to, to define it. You have to, to uh, click here, so say create linked entity. Okay, what it does now it, it adds some properties to this this vehicle and you can access them by right clicking on the on the object and click on properties sorry advanced properties they show up here and what's important first one of course is the, the country default is neutral but let's say this is France and I want it to be a French truck now here's the AI low normal or high is I'm not sure what it does to a truck but it uh, changes the the way the, these objects work. For instance, if you have an artillery piece, it will be more accurate, or it will uh, shoot uh, f further when it's high instead of low. Okay, enabled. Well, that's speak for itself. If you deselect it, it will not show up in the game uh, at game start. But you have to enable it during the mission. If you enable it from the start, it will be uh, shown when the mission starts. Several more options like vulnerable, engageable. Um, they can be used to uh, to change the uh, behavior of this object. Let's not go through all of them. It takes quite a lot of time. Basically, you can just hit OK, and it will now be in the game, and it will now show up in the game. Let's put another one next to it. Another truck, like here. See the difference is this. This vehicle now, because it has uh, it's an, it's an entity, it it shows up as blue. It has a color. This one is gray. It means that nothing is uh, associated with it. If you would run this mission, you would not see this truck, but you will see this one. But let's also create a linked entity here. 
double click is also a way to show up this uh, to show this menu so let's say it's French okay some vehicles now let's add the uh, an aircraft planes let's say we want the uh, Newport 11 click once and click again here it will be in the 3D world let's put it in front of this hangar again by default if you now run the mission it will not show up in the game but if you click on it and click here create linked entity and add the properties it will show up double click okay let's see the same properties here normal high ace of course these I think are quite intuitive you've got uh, ace level or you can select player which means this, this will be the aircraft that the player will use in this mission I'm gonna select player the country is France again and let's say here's an option to start in the air well we're not going to, s to select it because we want to take off from this airfield and here's an option cooperative start it's only to be used in cooperative missions and since we are going to make a single mission this need not be selected some more interesting stuff here you can read through the uh, the manual um, let's see skin you can pre-select a skin for this aircraft and the payload now okay let's not bother with this stuff for, uh, for for now, hit OK, and we have an aircraft. Okay, this way we can add lots of more objects. We could place the balloon somewhere. Let's do that. Let's say somewhere over here. Aerostats. This looks like a nice one. We select it here. Again, we have to say create linked entity. Double click. We have to say it's French, at least. Click OK. Now, let's look at this balloon in the 3D preview. Oh dear, it's quite close to the ground. This is not what we want want it to be. We want it to be up in the air, of course. Let's say uh, a thousand meters. So how do we do that? OK, I'm going to go back to auto view. When an object is selected, you can see the position in the uh, in the 3D world over here to the left. You can see X, I, Y, Z. Now the Y position is the altitude, so it often, that's the uh, position at the vertical position. So this is now 36.58. This is the apparently the the ground level. If I click on this object, the plane, it, it says 37.81. Of course, the the ground level it's it's not all it's it's not the same throughout the map because it has hills and uh, and valleys and stuff. So if you wanted this balloon to be up in the air at thousand meters, we we'll click one and type one thousand, and now it will be gone, and it should be somewhere up there. Yeah, and there it is. Okay, now what if we want to look at the balloon in 3D? Let's click it, and one way of doing it is right click, select object menu. There's a score of new more options, but this one is quite useful at times. Look from this object. We're now looking from the uh, looking through the uh, yeah from the position of the balloon. If I move about you can actually see the balloon now hanging in the air at a thousand meters there it is okay you've now learned how to to place all the objects and there's of course more there's there's trains and boats but they're not really all that different from uh, placing these objects